What's up everybody, this is Barry at Titans of CNC. Today we're going to be using some of Mastercam's multi-axis tool past the machine, the titanium turbine blade. Normally turbine blades are made out of heat resistant super alloys like Inconel, but we had a piece of titanium laying around and it's a pretty tough material too, so it'll give us a good idea of how to manufacture these blades. We started off by dovetailing our stock. The dovetail creates an extremely strong bond between the vise and the stock. We want a really rigid setup so that we can get a good finish out of our blade and maintain a real tight profile of a surface tolerance. You might notice that our vise is off center to the table. And the reason for this is because we had the Vero S system already installed on the table and we broke in into the middle of the monster hook job that we were running to run this turbine blade. What's really neat is that we're gonna be able to go back to those monster hooks within five minutes. We don't have to reprobe anything. We don't have to retouch off our tools. In addition to showing off how easy the Vero S system is to use and how efficient it is to use during a production run, the vise being off center to the table is also gonna showcase how good the DVF 5000 is at utilizing dynamic fixture offsets and how accurate the machine itself is. We're gonna do our roughing with the Harvey 1TE, our finishing with the Harvey 3, and then we're gonna come in with a chamfer mill and just kiss the top of the blade. we're using a Harvey 1TE bullnose end mill. We have a 20 degree lead on the tool and a negative five degree tilt. What the negative five degree tilt does is raise our B axis up to a negative angle so it's past 90 degrees, so that the front of the end mill is the only part of the tool that's being engaged. So we're stepping over 50 thousandths, about one inch deep during the roughing, and look how smooth the machine is moving. machine is supposed to sound like when you're cutting materials like titanium. Finishing with a Harvey 3 ball nose end mill, we have our part at a 23 degree tilt and we're still machining with a 20 degree lead angle. This ensures that the center of the ball is never engaged in the cut. So we're tilting to stay off of the center of the ball because the center of the ball is a single point in space. So it has no surface area. So even if you're rotating your spindle at 20,000 RPM, that center of the ball is always gonna be spinning at zero RPM. We're staying away from that so we can get a nice surface finish and have a nice quiet cut. over the programming for this part in a separate video, but we're using Mastercam's five axis flow toolpath. This gives us control over our lead and lag angle and our tilt. 
neat thing about the five axis flow tool path is that your tool stay and engage the material 100% of the time. So during all these moves that you're seeing, the tool's never losing contact with the finished part surfaces. Staying engaged in the cut 100% of the time means that we're making chips and we're making money. Look how the light plays off it as the part rotates around. It's beautiful. Turbine blades are parts that I've made a lot of in the past and they're super cool. They're not very complicated, even though the tool path is a little bit tough. Because of the rigidity of our fixture, this part came out beautiful. We ended up with an 18 surface finish. I really enjoyed machining this part. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned, we're gonna have some more cool five axis stuff coming your way. See y'all soon.